Okay, so we're at um, Big Bun State Park. Uh, you may have seen Mac from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia wearing a shirt for this park. Big Bone Lick. That's why he was wearing it, because it's got a funny name. And uh, we're going to go see if we can find some bison. This is the wildest ride I have taken so far. Uh, the windiest. Probably doesn't look that windy on camera, but I'm going to get all this packed up. See you in a bit. Let's go this way. See what's down this way. I'm very curious because it says no unauthorized vehicles. So what's down this way? What's an authorized vehicle? Well, I was going to look up some facts about Big Bones State Lick Park and tell them to you guys because probably some interesting stuff. I mean, we're in the middle, not even in the middle, we're in the northern part of Kentucky. And um, there's just this state park that uh, there are bison in. Which is interesting. Because I'd be curious to look up, like, why are there bison here? What are they doing here? Were they always here? I, I assume they were always here. That says danger keep out. They were there. That's probably not good. Make the bison angry. Maybe I should go back. But I'm not a vehicle, so I'm authorized to be here, I assume. I brought my DSLR too. Just in case I want to take some, like, pretty shots of stuff here. Um, there's people's houses up there. Is this someone's driveway or something? That'd be crazy. Park residence, no trespassing, no bison viewing beyond this point. Oh, someone lives here? Oh. Park residence, yeah. That's interesting. I'm walking into the sun and it's so bright in my eyes. I'm gonna get you some bison. We will see some bison today, hopefully. You never know. Wild animals, you can't uh, predict what they're gonna do. So I had to go uh, pee because this is the uh, Kind of a far ride out here. It's like 40 minutes out here from where I live. Um, and there's like a, I don't know if you can see the bus down there. It might be too far away. So there's like a tour group of older people here um, doing a tour of Big Bone Lick State Park. Big Bone Lick, what a good name. They have a sign here for watch out for trees. And uh, I think I think the bison are that way. Let's go see if we can see some bison. All right, I'm gonna keep walking this trail. I'll bring you guys back if anything cool happens, like a tree, dangerous tree falls on me. Or if uh, I get attacked by a bison. But one of the signs at the front gate said that in, I believe 1806, when Lewis and Clark were on their expedition, they stopped here and found some mammoth bones, um, big bones. And then they licked them all over. And he brought back the bones to our president, who I believe was Thomas Jefferson, and said, look at these big old bones. And Thomas Jefferson was like, go back and get me some more of them big bones. And then uh, Big Bone Lick State Park was born, basically. So I just passed a couple, an older couple leaving. And they gave me hints and told me that the bison are down here to the right and that they are out and that they are close. So hopefully we will get to see some, some sweet bison, moo at them or whatever. Nice. 
Okay, so I think she said go back that way, but I just wanted to look at this fence, or at this sign real quick. It says, do not approach or feed bison. Stay safe. Stay away from fence. And then, <laughs> down here, this is a good one. Bison are dangerous. Do not cross rope. Uh, I don't plan on it tell you the truth oh my god look at that thing I don't know if I should shut up oh my god there's so many there's four of them that's really cool oh that one's rubbing Even though they're natural to this area, it's still so wild to me that they're just here. I'm pretty sure humans like almost completely wiped them out. And I live so close to them, I've never really gone to see them. So there used to be millions of bison in the United States. And we poached them, we hunted them, we used their horns. Probably didn't actually use them. We took their horns, took their uh, hides, and we poached them down to an estimated 1,000 in the United States. From a million to a thousand. And through conservation efforts, we're getting our numbers back up. That's awesome. Really excited about that. These are cool animals you don't really see. I think out west you see wild ones, but here in the east or midwest or wherever you want to call Kentucky south, don't really see, you don't see them in the wild. So it's cool to see that. <laughs> 